Well, I think it's very evident, don't right. you? What do you think she's doing? She's having sex. On stream. Yeah, she got suspended for one week. Right. Meanwhile, we still don't really know why Dr. Disrespect was completely banned. We really don't understand why Jillian was, was punished on Twitch. And yet there's a girl on Twitch having sex on stream and a one week ban. For some reason, these girls are allowed to go onto a website that is a gaming streaming website and just do whatever they want. Okay, so let's rewind. These mm. other people that got banned, what did they do? And they got banned. And did they get banned for good? Yeah, so Dr. Disrespect was banned for good. Um, he streams on YouTube now. As far as I'm aware, he didn't do anything. We don't really, we still don't really know. But what was his content that he was releasing? Call of Duty. Okay. That's it. Just playing Call of Duty. Right. That's it. So I feel like the point you're getting at here is the fact that she's a woman. She was able to get away with it. Yeah, on Twitch, you've got these female tubs, you've got these uh, hot tub streamers, which are literally just girls in hot tubs, on a video game website. I sign on to Twitch and on my, on my homepage, I don't think it's there anymore, I don't think they put them there, I think they have their own section now, but for a long time, you had these women on there, basically naked, in hot tubs, doing nothing but, but being wet, and Twitch is allowing it to happen. And yet people like Dr. Disrespect, like Gideon, so many other people have been unfairly suspended or banned from Twitch. My question is, who is running the asylum over there? It's sad that someone that's not even on the Twitch platform anymore, I have been banned for over eight months and I'm the only one addressing this publicly. It's sad, but it's okay though. Cause you know what? A man that has nothing to lose is one of the most dangerous men on the planet. So let's get into it. You see the title, Twitch, sexist, and favoritism. That's a very, very bold claim to make, Gideon, calling someone sexist. But I need you guys to know something. Usually this drama, I post it on my second channel. If you're not following me on my second channel, be sure to follow me there. I stream every day. We have dope content, premium content. That's why it's called Gideon Premium. So go subscribe and hit the link down in the description below. But this right here, I want this to be known to the entire world. So I'm willing to taint my main channel just to get this message across. Twitch has been sexist for years and they have gone unchecked. So many people have tried to come out, but it just gets brushed under the rug. They just ignore everything. So last night, all my stream under Dion Premium, hit the link down in the description below. I was streaming, we were having a W stream, we were having fun, watching videos, and my editor, he sends me a list of videos to react to, right? I'm going down the list and I see that he sends me a Twitter link. And I'm like, bro, how am I gonna react to this? This is something on Twitter. But something just told me, click on it. So I click on it and I read the headline. Girl has sexual relations live on stream. I couldn't believe it. You could actually see everything that was happening. So I quote tweeted it and I said, and I'm still banned? A little jab at Twitch, but a joke nonetheless, cause I was like, they at least had to give her a month to a perma ban. I mean, this is huge. That's basically showing corn, I said corn, to underage kids, right? That's Twitch doing that. So I'm going on with my stream, my chat spamming. Yo, she's live on TikTok, she's live on TikTok. <laughs> That's a really good point, actually. Mm. I completely forgot about it. The amount of kids that are on Twitch mm. and they've given her a one-week suspension. You're showing that to underage children. Yeah, it, is, is, it doesn't make sense. And it's definitely not fair. And I don't want to hear all of this, oh, well, kids can look up stuff if they want. Well, they can, but this is a video it's game website. Yeah. It's not supposed to be there, okay? It's not within, within the realms of what it's supposed to be on that website. They're supposed to stream games or just have conversations with your community. I know why, but like, how long are you banned for? Um, seven days. What the? <laughs> <laughs> she looks like a child. She just looks as well like just doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, why would she? There's a there's a bunch of idiots running running Twitch. They let they let these girls get away with murder. How long did it take to get the hot tub streamers off of the main page? It took so long, and they kept changing the meta. First, it was that stuff where they like you know when they put their mouths right on the microphone and make noises. Mm. Is it called like ASMR or yeah. something? nasty bitch they were doing that and then some of them were putting the whole microphone in their mouth for like you know oh. you know 
And then they were like, you know, doing all sorts of madness. And then there was the hot tub streams and Twitch is just there letting this go on. Um, do you think that she knew that everyone could see what she was doing? Or do you think she thought that she was being sly about it? 100%. Do you she think she gained, done it on purpose? Yeah, because even though she got suspended, you saw she doesn't care. Because you know how many subscribers she gained after that. Twitch is just used as a launching pad for OnlyFans now. It's just for girls to go and on there and find these gamers who don't know how to talk to women. Mm. I'm not saying all gamers, because I'm a gamer myself, mm. but there's loads of people that spend too much time playing games and not enough time socializing. They don't know how to talk to women. These girls know that, they go on there, they find these young impressionable boys, and it just funnels them over to their OnlyFans. Mm. And Twitch knows this, and they just let it happen. She got a one week suspension. That's a permanent ban. She showcased porn to little kids seven days she was banned for seven days <laughs> showing corn to literally children and only a seven day ban so i go on twitter and i say she gets on live seven day ban and i'm still over here perma ban that tweet has over 140 thousand likes 140,000 likes, huge creators talking about it, twitching everybody's mentions. So you would think something this big, this major would go on trending. And it did. It went on trending for about an hour. Then it was taken off. Suspiciously, it was just taken off. Jake Paul is trending right now with only 2,200 tweets revolving around his name. But Twitch is not trending anymore. You guys are probably wondering, Judeon, where are you trying to go with this? I get a DM from a reliable source. I'm not gonna let you guys know who, but allegedly someone at Twitch reached out to a Twitter connect to have them remove their name from the trending tab. Allegedly, allegedly. Now, when they say that these social media platforms and these streaming platforms don't work together, that's a lie. They all get together. They were probably on like a Zoom call. And they decide. Or what's they just happen. pay loads of money. This is what happened with Andrew Tate, right? Mm. Overnight, everywhere gone. His, his PayPal gone. Banking apps gone. Social media is gone. The video streaming websites gone. Everything gone overnight. Even his website hosting gone. If you think that these social media platforms are not sitting there and they ain't in bed together, you, you're sadly mistaken. <laughs> They are all. Actually, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> That'll get me in trouble. Oh, I was going to say they're all. <laughs> I want to prove a point real quick. After you guys watch this video, there's been a hashtag at the bottom of the video this entire time. Use this hashtag on Twitter. If a tweet has more than 2,000 comments revolving around it, it goes on trending. So I want all you guys that have Twitter to use this hashtag after this video is over. And if this is not on trending, that allegedly is going to kind of look sus. But there's plenty more. Now, I don't know the reason why this girl was banned. What I do know is she was banned for a month. The thing with Twitch is it doesn't matter if you do stuff on their platform. If you do stuff anywhere else, they could still ban you. So this girl, she was banned on Twitch. So she went on Twitter and said, I want to myself and shoot people at Twitch HQ. Ha 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 ha. This is a terrorist threat threatening to shoot people at Twitch HQ, right? They extend her ban, obviously, to a perma. She wrote an apology letter to Twitch, and this is Twitch's response. After reviewing your case, we confirm that the correct enforcement was issued. However, given the details of your case, including the remorse expressed in your appeal, we have decided to reduce your suspension duration. Your suspension has been adjusted to expire in 22 calendar days. So a little bit less than a month, literally three. So as Gideon said, she made a terrorist threat and you can laugh at that home if you want. You can say it's silly. Can you imagine if a man said that? I want yeah. to shoot up everyone at Twitch. This is insane. Mm. This is 100% favoritism. 100%. I saw Corey Kenshin talking about racism on YouTube and favoritism. This is exactly the same thing over there. I feel like men do bring a lot to Twitch because like you're saying it's a gaming website so a lot of gamers are going to go there but all of this could just be consumed by money and if women are bringing a lot of attention because they're women then maybe 
is doing more for the platform which is why they're not getting rid of these women no no you're right that's exactly right because these girls are taking their clothes off on a video game platform these kids are rinsing their money sending them donations a lot of viewerships on their videos and they don't get as much viewership as the top male streamers but if you were to like look at how many of them there are then how many twitch uh subs they have it adds up to a lot so it is 100 a money thing twitch are not enforcing the rules fairly there's clearly favoritism here mm. clearly you cannot ban people like that and then someone makes a terrorist threat doesn't matter if you're joking or not because we've seen how youtube and twitch have responded to that to other people they ban them either permanently or for a very long time and she writes a letter of apology and they just unban her what she said should have been a permanent ban just on the basis that they ban guys like Gideon and Dr. Disrespect for much less crimes literally threatening to harm the people at Twitch HQ if you write a good enough apology letter you know what just be banned for a month you'll be all good a female Twitch streamer literally showed her genitalia on stream straight up showed her genitalia on purpose and guess what happened three day ban i actually remember that i remember that she didn't even do it as a mistake she did it on purpose what did she show her her jj yeah she showed it on stream subscriber count goes up bunch of young boys get funneled to only fans she makes more money she gets a three-day ban So that's three days worth of work on Twitch that she loses. Mm. But think about everything she gained. These girls know they're not holding these permanent bans. They know they can get away with doing whatever. But we've heard, allegedly, that shit goes down at the Twitch office and people are getting away with things because people are getting made to feel happy in the morning. Allegedly. This is nonsense. This is unfair treatment. Three days. Three days. I want to get to the examples where Twitch uses their full power against creators of the other sex. Starting with myself, we all know what I did on Twitch. It's no secret, and if you don't know, this is not the video for you to learn about it. Go figure it out yourself. I'm still banned. But you know what? This isn't about me, because I don't care about Twitch anymore. You know, I'm, I'm lit on YouTube. Be sure after this video to subscribe to my second channel. I'm lit over there, man. We're having a great time over at YouTube. But Twitch, there can be a terms of service for girls and then a terms of service for boys. Second example, look at Dr. Disrespect. We still don't know till this day why he's banned. Example number three, my friend Kai, a black creator over on Twitch. Kai Sinat is the largest and fastest growing streamer on Twitch. Twitch hasn't acknowledged him on Twitter, on any of their social medias. Twitch hasn't ever reached out to him. Twitch hasn't even thrown my boy a bone or anything, offered him a contract, trying to look out for him, saying congratulations, nothing. But in January, he said, why are you guys acting like monkeys on his stream? A black man, perhaps, wasn't even using the word monkey in a racist or derogatory way. Said monkey got banned for a month. A month. A month. But we have people threatening in, to go shoot up your HQ, but they get a little bit under a month though. It's okay. That's example number three. And my fourth example, I have a friend by the name of Your Rage who literally almost got permabanned for his profile pic on his Twitch. And guys, his profile pic is literally just a cartoon drawing of him yelling that a fan made, but that's permaban worthy. He literally had to go off on Twitter just to get his account. Yeah, it all makes no sense. Like this is clearly, mm. there's clearly something going on there. Someone needs to conduct some sort of thorough investigation on how things are working at Twitch. Mm. If Twitch can come out and enlighten us on how these bands are distributed and how people are unbanned, why some people stay banned, then maybe we can have a, like a, a more uh, inf- a formal conversation about it and we can be a bit more informed. But because nobody knows what the hell is going on and it's clearly certain people being targeted and certain people being let off, we can only assume that there's sexism and racism going on here. Mm. There, there has to be. There has to be something because he's, he's, he literally it just does not make sense how people are getting away with doing much worse things. Someone needs to conduct an interview with the executives at Twitch. They need to be having that conversation in front of their creators, in front of the people that bring eyes to Twitch. They need to have those conversations because this is an on. But they know they're doing something wrong, which is why they're doing things like getting the hashtag removed from 
like the trending thing removed from Twitter because they're being caught out for the bullshit. And like like I'm saying, this video has over two million views in how many days? A in few four days. days. And this is the thing with so many people seeing and recognizing what they're doing. They're on a dangerous path right now. This is my final thing I want to bring up. I talked about how allegedly Twitch likes to brush things under the rug, how they don't like to address drama or scandals or even atrocities on their own site, like this one. If you guys don't remember, a couple months ago, there was a Buffalo mass shooting where an armed man literally was looking for people of color to gun down. And he live streamed it on Twitch. He literally live streamed it on Twitch. I seen it with my own eyes, not the video, but I seen countless of creators adding Twitch. Twitch, when are you gonna respond? Twitch, we need a response from you. Nothing. They brushed it under a rug under the rug. What company do you know would do something that heinous? Where they won't even address a, a act of straight terrorism that happened on their site and just straight up ignored it. Should have ignored it when their top creators were asking them to please make a response. Nothing. Nada. Zip. I'm not making this video to get back on Twitch. I don't care anymore. I'm on YouTube. I'm having fun. I'm doing my own thing. The OG Dion would care. Yeah, but I don't care anymore. I'm doing this to make a stand. I'm doing this because I know this is what's right. Twitch. Twitch's inability to connect with its community in the way that they need them to could ultimately be its downfall one day. You can't be treating people like that that make you money because ultimately Twitch makes money off the back of people like Gideon and it's just not right what they're doing and no, there's clearly yeah. something going on here. It does look like favoritism. It does look like racism. You can't really accuse them of anything until we actually know so this is all alleged but they need to fix up the fact that that girl only got a seven day ban for showing kids porn, not just showing them porn, being the one taking part in it. That should really speak volumes to the favoritism on Twitch. Hopefully they, they get their act together. But to be honest with you, I haven't really been on Twitch since they, they um, disrespected Do Dr. Disrespect like that. We still to this day have no idea why mm. the doc was banned. But would they not have had to write a, a written email explaining why? No. They, they just send you very vague, vague message. You've been banned. Breached but community guidelines and shit yeah. like that. But what, what did he breach? What did he breach? Why is it so hard for you to be transparent with those things? Just tell people what they're doing wrong and they won't do it again. But if I don't know what I'm doing wrong, how am I supposed to not do it again? You can't just assume somebody knows what they're doing wrong. And you can't say read the terms of service. If we've read the terms of service and we still don't know what we're getting wrong, then just tell them. But it's very clear to me, and it seems to be clear to everyone else, that you are targeting certain creators and you need to get your act together.